Good morning, please, please. I come back from Kuluji Congregation, brothers and sisters. Welcome to our online service. We will start with page 17 in the small city and page 12 in the big city. Vesameha, go well. Uman Peskidu, Sahadu Amla, Amen. O my brother, think of thy sins and ask forgiveness so that thou mayest obtain mercy before going out of the church, where the pure sacrifices offered on their own behalf and thine. Do not separate thyself from the priest who prays and offers on thy behalf in order that thou mayest not go out with the unbaptized whom they send out, but abide within the church, and listen to the word of the priest, and listen to him who asks forgiveness on behalf of thee and all sinners, that their God may grant pardon to them, O man, if thou desirest to receive forgiveness of thy sins. Why doest thou go out from the church, while another is bowing and asking for mercy on thy behalf? And why art thou idle? At that time, you let your mind wander from place to place. You who are seen with the seal of the heavenly bridegroom, even Christ. But the church will dismiss thee and shut the doors against thee, so that thou will never enter, because no stranger will be found in her. When the bridegroom cometh, she shall open to him the doors, and his bride feedeth the bridegroom. But the stranger shall not eat, because it's, it is not given to him who has seen a bridegroom that at his marriage sacrificed his body and is fed on forever. The Son of God has done a new deed in the world which no one except for him had done like him since the creation of the world. At his marriage he had ordained on the table before his guests, his holy body and his precious blood as a banquet, so that they may eat thereof, and so that he who believes in him may live forever. The meat and drink is our Lord Jesus Christ at his marriage. Blessed be our God, who has given us his holy body and precious blood for the forgiveness of sins that we may live thereby forever. Glory be to him, world without end. Amen. Reading from the Word of Samaria, the Book of Praise of the Holy Mary, a hymn of praise for the Sabbath day of the Christian day, Sunday. You will name me love, O blessed among men, you are the second chamber, for you who call the holies of holies wherein the tables of the covenant containing the ten words which were written by the fingers of God and King Ken. This he has made known to us first by the letter Yata, which is the first letter of the name of all Redeemer Jesus Christ, who became incarnate from you without change. He became the mediator of the new covenant, and by the shedding of his blood, we, we, he purified the believers and the holy people. Pray to him for us, O Holy One. Holy Virgin Mary, pray for us. We all magnify you, O Lady, the ever pure bearer of God, lifting up our eyes to you. We invoke you. Pray for us that we may find grace and mercy with him who is the lover of men. You are the tablet of art which was covered all over with gold, which had been made of wood that never could perish, signifying to us the word of God who became man without separation and change, even the holy and undefiled deity who is co-equal with the Father. He was announced to her the pure woman without sin, he became like unto us by the might of his wisdom. 
he who was incarnate from you, even he who is spotless, mingled his divinity with us. Pray to him for us, O Holy One. Holy Virgin Mary, pray for us. You are the sanctuary which the cherubim surround as they stand around God, the world who was incarnate of you, O pure one, without change has become the forgiver of all sins and absolve of all transgressions. Pray to him for us, O Holy One. Holy Virgin Mary, pray for us. You are the Earl of God, O Holy Book, Holy One Pot, bearing his hidden the man of the bread that he down from heaven to give life to all the world. Pray to him for us, O Holy One. Holy Virgin Mary, pray for us. You are the golden candlestick that bears, that holds the brilliant light at all times, which is the light of the world, light from light, which has no beginning. Verily God from verily God was incarnate of you without change, and by his coming he shed light upon us, upon those of us who were sitting in the shadow of the darkness of death. He set our feet upon the path of peace through the mystery of his holy wisdom. Pray to him for us, O Holy One. O Holy Virgin Mary, pray for us. You are the sense of gold because you carry the coals of the blessed fire which he took from the sanctuary. He who forgives sins and destroys wickedness. He who is the word of God who became incarnate of you. And he who offered up to his father himself as incense and precious offering. Pray to him for us, O Holy One. Holy Virgin Mary, pray for us. You are the garden of delight, the garden of joy, which is planted by the trees of Lebanon and was prepared for the saints before the world was created. On the great chariot, which was guarded by the cherubim and seraphim, that go fashion out of flame of fire, one of the seraphim visited her from heaven and said unto her in the sanctuary, Blessed are thou among women, the Holy Spirit shall come up unto thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. For he who dwells above the cherubim shall become the light of all the world. Rejoice, so Mary, beautiful love, you are born for us the word of God, and you are the sweet-scented flower which has sprung up from the root of Jesse. Pray to him for us, O Holy One. Holy Virgin Mary, pray for us. You are like unto the rod of Aaron, which without being planted in the ground and without watering, burst into blossom. In like manner, you, O bearer of Christ, did bring forth Christ our Lord in truth. Without sin, he came and delivered us. Pray to him for us, O Holy One. Holy Virgin Mary, pray for us. It is meet for you, O oh you who are full of grace, more than all the saints, to pray on our behalf. You are greater than the high priest, and you are more honorable than the prophets. In you there is majesty of appearance, which is greater than the majesty of seraphim and cherubim. Verily, you are the glory of our race, and you are she who must beg for life for our souls. Pray thou then on all we are to our Lord and Redeemer Jesus Christ that he may confirm us in the right way that is to say, faith in him, and that he may graciously bestow upon us his mercy and compassion, and may in his abundant mercy forgive us our sins forever and ever. Amen. Pray to him for us, O Holy One. Holy Virgin Mary, pray for us. My brothers and sisters, and I'm ready to continue our prayer for the land. The meditation, Psalm 85.
we are according to what is experience at all times so that we make us meet to partake of the communion of the blessed sacrament and forgive us all our sins.
page 24 in the middle of the street, 44 in the small, stanza 56. Master Lord Jesus Christ, your begotten Son, the Word of God the Father, who was born of our soul, abounds of our sins, and I like given and saved in sufferings, who is breathed upon the face of thy holy disciples and pure ministers, saying to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whatsoever men sins you remit, they are remitted unto them, and whatsoever sins you retain, they are retained. Thou, therefore, Lord, hast now granted the priests to thy pure ministers, that do the priest's office at all times in thy holy church, that they may remit sin on earth, may bind and loosen all the bonds of iniquity. Now, what gave we pray to thy holy soul of our man, on behalf of these thy servants and armies, my fathers and my brothers and my sisters, and also on my own behalf on me, thy feeble silver, and on behalf of them that bow their heads before thy holy altar, prepare for us the way of thy mercy. Break and serve all the bonds of our sins, whether we have trespassed against you, O Lord, which is your own which is or in this secret deepness of heart, whether in deed or in good or through smallness of understanding, for thou knowest the feebleness of man. O good love of man and Lord of all creation, Grant us, O Lord, forgiveness of our sins. Bless us and purify us and set us free. And absolve all thy people. And fill us with the fear of thy name. And establish us in the dream of thy holy will. O good for the Lord, our Lord and our God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. To thee we send glory and honor with thy own heavenly Father and the Holy Spirit of thy giver. Who is co equal with thee, both now and ever and world without ever. Page 25 in the middle to James, 47 in the small, stanza 66. For the peaceful holy things, we beseech that God may grant us peace through his mercy. Be 
servants, be obedient to them that are your masters, according to the flesh, with fear and trembling, in singleness of your heart as unto Christ, not with eye service as men pleasers, but as the servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart, with good will doing service, as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that whatsoever good thing any man will, the same he shall the same shall he receive of the Lord, whether he be born or free. And ye master, do the same things unto them, obeying, threatening, knowing that your master also is in heaven, neither is there respect or person with him. Amen. The blessing of the Father, the law of the Son, and the gift of the Holy Spirit, which came down upon the apostles in holy sand, and light shall come down and be multiplied upon me and all of you. Holy Apostle Paul, good messenger, he loved the sick, while received the cross.
Take a psalm and breathe in the timbrel, as an adult soul tree.
Each tetiage in the village of Jesus, 87 in the small, stands of five. Then,
continuing on the four of the apostles, page 43, let me look at it, 98 in a small. Thank you. 
Grant us, Lord, wisdom. 
Good morning, brothers and sisters. Sit down and relax. The message by our evangelist, Katuban. After that, we have a memorial service. Sunday that we can come to glorify his name, praise him and ask his mercy. 
on our journey. We have our own journey as they had their journey. And as the psalmist told us this morning, on our journey, the Lord is compassionate. He formed us and he remembers that we are dust. As for us, our days are like grass, as the flowers of the field, so we flourish. But as the wind passes, just like with the grass, we do not remain. It is in this context that the Word of God this morning teaches us in the parable Christ himself teaches us not to be anxious not to be greedy this is our journey we are given talents Talents mean that we are made in the image of God after his likeness. Our life is a life of abundance as the ground of the rich man brought forth plentifully. Whether we have one talent or two or five or ten, the quantity is not what comes, it's the quality. The one who had two talents made two more. The one who had five talents made five more. That's a hundred percent increase. Qualitatively, it's the same. One hundred percent. The one who had one talent they didn't make any more. He made zero percent. Our journey is about the quality of our life. Those of us who have and who want to provide and live nice because we can say, take it easy. Let's enjoy our lives. We have enough to live by. The gospel teaches us. It is not about material goods. The gospel is teaching us about spiritual goods. Nothing we have in life belongs to us. Therefore, it's not about materialism. Why? Because the reality is nothing we can take from life. It doesn't belong to us. We can't take it. As we come, so we go with nothing material. But on that journey through all those years we live here, whether it's a few or many, the goods we accomplish are supposed to be spiritual goods. Unfortunately, we gave so much of our attention in this life, maybe more than 95%, only to pay attention to our material goods. We have so much time to study and pass exams. All of this is success for us. And to get a job, and to build a house, and to have a family, and a car, and provide, and live nice. How much of that time on our journey we spend for God? 
on spiritual things and that is what the gospel is about. The gospel is telling us all what we have, the food we have in our bands, They really belong to the stomach of the poor. We have to remember the poor. When we go to eat, we have to food before we put the food in our mouth, ask God to remember those who don't have and to provide for them. How can we help also help provide for them in our daily life, on our journey in life? The cupboards we have full with food to be shared, understood, it belongs to the hungry people. Those who have no shoes belong to the shoes, the shoes we have in our covered stock that we don't even use belongs to them. They need it. Instead of leaving it to stay on rocks, we should share with them. When we do that, we are putting out storehouses of virtues and blessings that will keep us on our journey that we can take on the life hereafter. All our material goods we can't take, we have to leave. We must use it. Whether it's our talent of understanding, education, material, whatever we have, use it to help the poor. Help the poor and needy, and we help the Lord. And this is what the, 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 the gospel is about. It's not about material things. When we share our material wealth, we are stocking up in the cupboards of spiritual life virtues. That's all we can take when we live here. The virtues what will take us on our journey towards eternal life. May God help us to understand the words. Help us to help one another. As we help each other, as we go along on our journey, our living will not be in vain. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, one Lord. Amen. Bless you, the world. Bless you, the Sahara of blood. Amen. He rose from the dead on the third day and entered where his disciples were while the door was closed and then departed from his disciples. While he was here, his glory covered the heaven. He ascended up to heaven, sat on the right hand of his Father. Heaven became his throne and the earth his footstool. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. He will thunder above and his voice will shake the foundation of the earth. And the dead will come out from unto him from their graves. Ye Lord, it is thou who raise all that with thy own, who raise the dead to thy death. There among the unbelievers, those who believe in thy cross. There among the sinners, those who return to thy death. There are among the unclean, those who were sanctified through thy suffering. There are among the dead, those who thou didst raised through thy resurrection. And among those who were gathered together to judge thee, there were those who believed in thee. Thou didst open the iron gate and will raise.
embrace those whose bodies wax old in the grave and will awaken those who fall asleep in their lifetime and will raise those lying in the and will set free the sinful slaves and will justify to thy mercy those who defy thee. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, to whom be glory and honor, together with his Father and the Holy Spirit, world without hope.
God in your face, grace, natural and dry, testers, beacons, brothers and sisters who are given. Good morning. The announcements is as follows. Next Sunday, here we will have divine service for members. Uh, so there will be no streaming. Next Sunday, we have a divine service here. All other members, uh, contact your parish priest to find out if you all will be having service. Um, also, the funeral service of our departed brother, Gabriel Selassie, will be on Tuesday at 11 a.m. at Allen's Funeral Home in Arima. Allen's Funeral Home in Arima. We also would like to, our sister Anne, her mother had passed away. The funeral was yesterday. Sister Anne, mother had passed away and the funeral service was yesterday. And we also like to thank everyone who supported our fundraiser yesterday. It was a success. We had a, what we came for, we had to go over. So we thank God for that. We also have the Sunday school at the Architect One. So we have two platforms today at 3 o'clock. Okay, so continue to tune into all our online programs. Then we have we have our online program with Kess Marcus on our Wednesdays at DLM. We have our Bible study also on Mondays from 6. Okay, and I believe these are all the announcements and we continue to be strong in the Lord and let us work together to fulfill our calling here in the church. Amen. Go in peace. Thank you.